How's it going there YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video unboxing of the Mac Mini. Now I was gonna do one of those clever unboxings that I usually do because I find that unboxing something that we've already all seen before is pretty dang boring. The fact of the matter is I totally had no ideas. You know, I did my iPad one, I've done my Steve Jobs one, and I am clean out. So this is just gonna be boring Quinn, but uh, we will be doing a couple things in this video. So the first one is why did I move to a Mac Mini? Well, uh, first of all, my MacBook was really starting to fall apart. It was having processor issues and really just was something that I didn't want to keep a hold of because I knew that if it decided to crap out, I'm SOL. So I sold my MacBook this morning for $7.25. The, the buyer knew that... Uh, you know, there were obvious problems with the MacBook. I noticed the hinge. I noted that it's been heating up. They didn't seem to care much, and they paid $7.25 for it, so I feel like I got a good deal. And then I just bought this for $7.49 with tax or something like that. So a uh, $25 upgrade. I get a two. I moved from a 2.0 gigahertz processor to a 2.4. Um, I'm going to be installing RAM here in just a minute because it takes like quarter of a second to do. And so... Uh, Whatever, let's move to the Mac Mini. So, uh, you know, in terms of school, what am I gonna do when college starts? Cause you need a Mac or you need a PC or you need a laptop to take notes. Um, you know, I'm kind of just avoiding that. I'm thinking that, I'm hoping that my parents will buy me a MacBook Pro for school, uh, you know, kind of as a high school graduation gift, but we'll see. Uh, if not, you know, there's always a job and YouTube money, so. <laughs> We'll, we'll figure it out, but this is for now. So this was $699. Uh, as for specs, we got the 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. We got uh, two gigs of DDR3 RAM, and we're going to be upgrading that to four of other world computing RAM. 320 gig hard drive, which is nice. I was on uh, 160 on my MacBook. Uh, SuperDrive, NVIDIA GeForce, 320M graphics. I was moving from the 9400M uh, or the 9400GT. We got Ethernet, Airport Extreme, Basic, oh, okay, all that other crap, you know, easy stuff, um, no big deal. All right, let's open the box, see what we got in here. It just slides out, it looks like. And there it is, it is very pretty, that is for sure. And it is stuck in there very good. All right, so here it is. Um, it's not that heavy, I mean, it is aluminum, so it's a little bit heavier. It's probably an inch and a half high. Uh, Oh, well, we'll move to this in just a second. Inside, you're going to find some everything Mac information, uh, install disks, all that good stuff, and then your little quick start guide. Cool beans. Oh, sorry, Tony. Didn't want to steal that. And then uh, you're going to get a power cord with an HDMI out, which is oh, HDMI to VGA. I'm actually just going to run the HDMI straight out, and if that doesn't work or it's not good quality, I will run my mini display uh, to HDMI. So there we go. Uh, cool. Um, so here's the Mac. Love it. Got it. I'll take this wrap in here. Kind of just, uh, exfoliate it. Boom. All right. So here it is. Like I said, aluminum finish looks awesome. You got the black Apple logo. Turn it around bottom. You got the Mac mini and we're going to install Ram in just a minute. We have the power here, the power, or well, the power button, the power in, uh, in the ethernet the Firewire 800 port, HDMI in, or HDMI out rather, uh, mini display out, you got four USB 2.0 ports, uh, you got an SD card slot it looks like, you have an audio out, or headphone jack out, and then uh, optical in out, and then there's your fan slots right there. So uh, here's the Mac mini base, it's a, not that rubbery, it's more plasticky than you would think, so it might slip a little bit. One of the best things about the Mac Mini is you have the ability to install RAM. So what I'm going to be doing right now is pulling off the back. It's very easy. You just take these two knobs right here, you twist, and it should pop out just fine. We're going to zoom in, and I'm going to go to a side angle so I won't be talking, but uh, I'll show you how simple it is to install RAM in the Mac Mini. All right, so let's get the Mac Mini hooked up. Well, it is hooked up. Let's turn it on. Uh, both my mice, both my mouse and my keyboard are wireless, and so I can't imagine they just like auto pair or something of the like. So I have a wired, uh, good old Dell mouse. Never owned a Dell machine, but we own a Dell mouse um, that's wired so we can uh, just set things up here. We've got the TV on, let's hit the power button on the Mac Mini. 
My camera is going out of focus because it hates this TV. Come on. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. This camera is great except for when it goes out of focus because it thinks whatever. All right, so we immediately have the Apple logo. It's really incredibly quiet, actually. Granted, it's not... I can't imagine the fans are working too hard. It was sitting in a store. So it's booting, it's booting. Let's see. We'll see if those uh, two two gig RAM sticks we installed did any good. Um, if they're bad sticks or if they went in the wrong way or something or the other, we will be informed very shortly that things are not right. And it all appears to be good. Um, first of all, HDMI looks terrible. I don't know why. It probably just hasn't figured out screen resolution yet. That looks really bad, so hopefully we can fix that. If not, I have my good old mini display to HDMI port out, and we can do that as well. It looks better now. Still could be better, though. Looks like it's set up for a 480p screen. I don't know why. So there's actually a speaker in the Mac Mini. Um, it's not loud, but there is a speaker in there. That's where the music's coming from. If you can't hear the music, well, you probably can't because it's my mic. Good sound. All right. I'll be hooking up all my audio ports very shortly. Before you begin, no. Oh, connect your keyboard now if you're using an Apple Wireless. So... Anyway, I'll do all this setup now, and we'll do all your other stuff later. So uh, this is Quinn. That's Nazi iPhone Guy. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.